Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. So it's been quite a while since I last uh, uploaded but I am currently in university and I've had my midterms so things have been a bit hectic and I haven't had the time to exactly record a new video but I'm here today with a new video and today's video is going to be a little bit different from what I usually do. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Himimiya watercolor set. So I found this on Amazon. Um, oh yeah, just a disclaimer, this is not sponsored at all. Um, this is just like my own review. I just bought this off of Amazon, but this is not sponsored by Himimiya at all. This is a completely 100% unbiased and I'm just reviewing something that I saw on Amazon that I really liked. So this is the Himimiya watercolor set. It's sort of like an on-the-go travel watercolor set. So today I'm going to be checking it out and reviewing it. So let's get back to the video. So now that I've gone ahead and I have filled the water pen, wasn't exactly sure how much I was supposed to fill it up to, but I've gone ahead and I filled it up. And so now I'm going to swatch these uh, colors to see if they look the same as they do in the pan, as they do on the watercolor paper that the company provided. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to start off with white. So I've put down these black lines to see how the lighter colors appear over uh, black outlines as well, just to test their opacity. So I'm going to go ahead with the white. And this is like my first time using a water brush, so I hope I'm doing it right. I think I've gotten a bit of color on there. I'm just going to go ahead and swatch it. Okay, so I think it's starting to blend in with the actual pen on there, so I'm kind of worried about that. I think the pen I probably used just bleeds too much, so I might just not use that for the rest of the swatches, but... Okay, you know what, that's not that... Yeah, there's not really much of an opacity there, which I guess in some cases could be good if you like lighter washes of watercolor, but we'll test the other colors just to see the opacity of those. So we'll move on to yellow then. Probably should have cleaned it better before I did, but it's all right. Not sure how much water I'm supposed to put in order to get these to work with the water brush. Alright. Okay, so far so good. I mean, I did have to put uh, another layer a bit just to get it to really show up that bright but even the first layer wasn't terrible in its opacity and so so far i'm liking this so i'm just gonna go ahead and i'm gonna wipe off the paint from the brush this time just because we are moving from very different colors Something that I've noticed with the brush is how the water is starting to turn the color of the paint, which I don't think that's it's supposed to do that. 
but I think I just kind of like messed up somewhere. I think I might have held it down too much and allowed it to soak in to the actual water pen. So that's kind of odd. Okay, we're gonna go back onto the next color. So this color, I think it's like a almost mustard, not mustard yellow, but I guess like a in between, like a dandelion. Yeah, I think I'm definitely adding too much water to some of these, but so far, without the influx of water, like as I'm doing right here, I'm really liking the opacity of some of these. So now I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna speed through the rest of the swatches and I'll give my final comments on those afterwards. So, finished swatching all the colors and I have to say that I'm pretty impressed with just how bright and honestly borderline fluorescent some of these colors are. I think Himimiya, they have student grade paints, not professional grade quality. So seeing this kind of pigmentation, especially within watercolors, that is something that's actually quite impressive. You can see some of them are still yet to dry, but the ones that have dried still remain quite right and uh on, yeah like i said it's pretty fluorescent so, like especially this yellow it's like a highlighter yellow but obviously since i just got these i can't exactly test out the light fastness of them so i don't know how much they will hold up over time but so far it's very nice they almost look a lot like wash and again there's like such a nice selection of colors you can kind of see that array of colors and you can also see that I got it on myself, but I'm really impressed with these. Though I do admit that didn't have the best experience with the water pen. Now this could just be chalked up to the fact that I have never used a water brush pen before in my life, so I kind of struggled with it, like not really sure how I was really supposed to use it. So, and again, I don't like that the paint seems to build up in the barrel of the brush pen, so that was kind of weird. So I don't know how much I'm going to actually use the brush pen, so I actually want to test out how these paints work if I were to use a regular paintbrush instead. So not that much of a fan of the water brush pen, but I think that's probably just me. So now that I have swatched and tested out these paints, I am going to try to paint something with them and this time I'm not going to be using the water brush that they provided and I'm instead going to be using some of my own, my own brushes instead. And so I've used the bottom of the case and I filled it with water. So I'm going to try to paint something with these and as well as test out the palette here. 
So we're going to see how that goes. Now I'm just going to put on the finishing touches with the background. So here we have the finished product. I'm just going to rip the tape off from here. So overall, I would say much better experience with the paints using an actual paintbrush rather than the water brush. But again, that could just be me. These paints, for the price you get them at, are incredibly, they just work so, so good. They go on very smooth. There's no chalkiness to these paints. They blend very well and they have an incredible amount of pigment with, within them for being student grade paints. But overall, I would say absolutely 10 out of 10 for this watercolor set. And I really like the fact that, and this was the original, 
reason why I bought it is that it's compactable. You can just kind of take it with you on the go and just feel a bit. But you can take it with you wherever you need to go. You can paint wherever you are going, like on train, you're in transit, you want to paint something. So it's really good and I really love the design that this has. So overall, 10 out of 10 for this set of watercolor paints. Of course, I would like to come back someday and see the light fastness of these paints to see how well they hold up because obviously this is still freshly painted so the colors are obviously going to be quite bright and luminescent. But yeah, overall, I really, really like these paints. And if you want to buy them yourself, you can go on Amazon and you can find the um, product there. And I will post a link to that in the description below. But yep. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like to see more videos like this, comment down below. And remember to like and subscribe to help support the channel. And I will see you all next time. Bye.